Good afternoon everyone. Okay, so again we are together on your Google Classroom app with the subject Geography. So in the last period only we have started the lesson The Earth and the Gratitude. And if you remember as I have shown you the figure of the globe. How was it? It was just like this. Okay. I have shown you in the last lecture that how that globe looks. Okay. Here you can see the vertical lines, the horizontal lines. We have seen, we have studied the globe. Okay. Now let me come to the next point. See, that day I explained you that the earth and the gratitude. So you are familiar with the concept the earth. Okay. Which is in circle shape or spherical shape. The earth is always in spherical shape. Here we are going to see gratitude. In the last lecture I told you. It is a network of lines representing the meridians and parallels on which a map is represented. Very soon we are going to study about the what are meridians and parallels. In that seat today I have written about the points which we are going to discuss today. The parallels of latitudes, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, north pole, south pole. Okay. Now just here you have a look of this figure. Okay. If you remember just on page number 2 here you can see. We have already studied the figure 1.3. Here you have observed that to measure the angular distance it is very important to draw the what you have to draw in degrees you have to draw the lines. Here you can see the angle X M V it is 30 degree and V M Y it is 60 degree and this is the angular distance okay we can consider that this is the same figure they have given and you have to do the task just here have a look do it by yourself what you have to do you have to draw in 1.4 figure some points okay now with the help of the protractor properly you will draw 20 degree of V1 X K1 and V2 X K2. Okay. In the lower part, what you have to do? See, again 2 they have told. In the lower half, uh, you have to do, you have to mark the angles of 60 degree and you have to name those points as P1 and P2. The 1.4 you are going to get in the same way as 1.3. Okay, here you can observe the angular distance. Here, the angular distance of the angle X and V, this, see this distance, it is larger than this distance, which we have made by the angle V and Y, which is 60 degree. So, this is at the southern part, this is the shortest one comparative to the, we have drawn the distance, angular distance, which is in the, northern hemisphere this is in the southern hemisphere in the same way you have to do this activity you have to show me this figure and you can post it on whatsapp or google classroom app let's come to the explanation part parallels of latitudes see as i showed just now in the figure 1.3 in the same way you are going to draw in 1.4 so you have realized that there are two ellipses which we have drawn by joining 20 degree points which is larger than the ellipse which we have drawn at 60 degree points. Okay, here just imagine this is the figure drawn by you. So the ellipse which you will draw here and which you will draw here. It will, it, this will be the longest one and this will be the shortest one. This will be your equator. This will be your equator. Okay. This is your, these are your poles. Okay. These are your 
poles north and south okay so you have observed see now with the help of protractor when you will properly take out the points you will realize that the 20 degree that ellipse is larger than the ellipse which we have drawn with the 60 degree okay and the distance of xk1 and xp2 are the same because we are going to study about the sphere note that that these lines appear to be the ellipses in the diagram that means you have to show the ellipses in the diagram on the globe they are in the form of the circles the circles thus created at some angular distance from the center of the earth this is your center of the earth okay from that the circles which are shown in this way you can show The circles thus created at some angular distance from the center of the earth are parallel to one another. You can observe that these angular distances are parallel to one another. And that is why they are called as parallels of latitudes. They are called as parallels of latitudes. The value of the parallels are always that angulars that is the parallels of angulars are measured in degrees. Here in the figure 1.5, you can have a look. Here they have shown, see, this is your south pole, this is your north pole, this is your from equatorial point at 0 degree to north, this is your earth's axis, this is earth's center, okay, this is your equator. And here they have shown all the angular distances that is in degrees. The degrees of the parallels are measured from the equator as shown in figure 1.5. And that is why we say that equator is considered, this equator, it is considered as zero degree parallel. This equator is considered as zero degree parallel. Parallel, the angular distance, the angular distance of the, that parallel and also it is called as a great circle. Here I have written C. Now we have understood what is equator. So the zero degree parallel which is the largest parallel and here you can see. It will draw a line over here. This will be the largest one which will be parallel to both these lines. So which is zero degree parallel. That is the largest parallel and it is also called as a great circle. That is called as equator. That is called as equator. Now as I said today we are going to learn about the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, north pole and south pole. So here also you can have a look or in this figure also that the equator, this equator that bisects. The equator bisects means divides the figure into two hemispheres that is called as northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. This is your southern hemisphere, this is your northern hemisphere and as from the equatorial point it goes away from that equator towards the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. You can get two points. You can get two points. Okay. This is your southern hemisphere. This is your northern hemisphere. And it goes away from, away from the equator towards this. This is your earth's axis. It creates two points. Those are called as north pole and south pole. I'll just repeat the paragraph now. The equator bisects the earth into north and south parts. The one to the north, the one to the north side, it is called as northern hemisphere, while the one to the south side is called as southern hemisphere. Towards the north and the south of the equator, the patterns of latitude progressively become smaller and smaller and smaller. If you are uh, try to draw few lines, you will have a look that it will go 
smaller and smaller when it goes away from the equator to the north and like while becoming smaller and smaller smaller and smaller finally we get to points these are called as north pole and south pole respectively while mentioning the value of a parallel it is very necessary to mention whether it is the northern or the southern hemisphere see here the parallels from the northern hemisphere are always re referred as 5 degree north 15 degree north 30 degree north 50 degree north whereas same at the parallels from the southern hemisphere are always referred as 5 degree south 15 degree south 30 degree south and 50 degree south that means here they, are, they have shown some degrees you can see if the degrees are from the northern side you will say 10 degree 20 30 40 whatever it is but it is from the northern side and if you will mention the same degrees here you will say 5 degree south 10 degree south 20 degree south 40 degree south 50 degree south in this way i hope you have understood the concept parallels of latitudes okay now i'll just repeat again the definition of special in the equator the zero degree parallel which is the largest parallel and also called as a great circle it is known as equator now the parallel of latitudes here i have written two questions answer the following what are the parallels of latitudes so see now this is your east this is your west the east west circles created at some angular distance from the center of the earth the east west distance that circles those are created at some angular distance from the earth are called as the parallels of latitudes the next question which parallels does bisect the earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere of course it is your equator you have to write this answer in full line that equator is the bisect that the earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and then we get two poles which are that north pole and south pole i hope you have understood today's concept whatever the content i have taught it is a lengthy lesson so we will go slowly and next time we are going to study the figure 1.6 so your one more homework that you have to go through the whole that diagram 1.6 the things which are mentioned in that what is zero, zero degree prime meridian? What is meridian? What are latitudes? Where they have shown the equator, longitudes, many more things. You have to study it properly and there is one project for you. Nowadays, everyone is having that oranges and sweet lime, especially oranges. We are keeping with us. Why? That to fight against COVID-19, it is too important to include vitamin C in our body. So if you have it at your house, you have to peel that orange. Okay? You have to peel the orange and you have to take one portion. First, you have to see how many segments are there in that orange and you have to remove one portion, one segment of the orange. So you will get to know how much distance is created. How much distance is left over there? What is the angle made over there? And you will definitely enjoy that activity. And I'm sure you can take out the videos while doing the activity. You can share it on group. And at the end, no need to say, you can eat that orange. Okay? Thank you. Bye.